Right on, mate. Thank you. Seven or more short blasts, followed by one prolonged blast on the ship's horn. The ship is equipped with eight life rafts and a number of life buoys, which can be manually launched or will float free in the event of the ship sinking. In addition, there is a life jacket readily available for everyone on board, which should be put on when instructed. Should we need to evacuate the ship, you will be instructed by the master to proceed to the nearest possible exit and to enter the water. All exits are clearly marked. When in the water, take hold of one of the grab lines on a life raft or life buoy. Each life raft will hold six to eight people and each life buoy will hold two people. Thank you for your attention. As we were fishing, up with the shooting and all calling all night. It was windy all weather, stormy all weather, and the wind blows where all falls together. Welcome aboard the Bark Endeavour, the famous ship, the Bark Endeavour, which set sail on its great voyage of discovery in the year 17. <laughs> So now let's hear a little bit about our famous Captain Cook himself. James Cook was born in Martin in Cleveland in 1728, later moving to nearby Great Ayton where he went to school. 
After starting his career as a farm labourer, he moved to work in a merchant store in Stone, just up the coast. Then, at the age of 18, he became a seaman, and his first job was on a Whitby colony, just like the Dark Endeavour. With the onset of war with the French in 1755, the 27-year-old cook enlisted in the Navy, and within a month was promoted to master's mate. In just four years, he was promoted to master.